Right, Keith, you played in both these training ground friendlies now. So how important are they for you if you're not quite in the team at the moment, just to keep your match fitness up after all the pre-season work you did? Yeah, I suppose it's, um, it would have been a waste of time doing all that hard work pre-season if we're not going to keep it up now. So, uh, you know, it's good to get another 90 minutes under the belt and uh, keep myself ready for uh, when I'm called upon. Yeah, because there, w- there weren't that many games last season. And you're, you're one of, you, you know, you've had periods in the team and you've had periods out. So how difficult is it to come back in if you haven't played a game for a few weeks? Yeah, it's difficult, you know, especially, you know, you really notice the difference, uh, you know, the first 20 minutes when you get thrown back in. So, uh, yeah, like I say, it's good to keep uh, keep all kinds of fitness up and uh, you can't beat match fitness. So uh, it's, it's good that we have these games. Yeah, I know what you say has to be politically correct, but the team's letting 10 goals in four games. So you must be desperate to try and get in there and help help yeah, shore it up a bit. Yeah, of course, I'm jumping at the bit. I'm ready to, I'm ready to play, you know. I, I do my best in these games today and in training, and uh, you know I'm always ready when uh, when called upon. Yep, S- centre back last week, weren't you? And then right back today. Yeah. Yep. If, if you, if you, has any, has there been any indication that you might be uh, um, given the first chance in the first team this season? Not really, not really. No, I'm just gonna gonna wait and see. You know, Gaffer's played me in two different positions. He knows, he knows I can, you know, I can play both uh, if needed. So, like I say, just just sitting and waiting. Yep. Some players are more patient than others, aren't they? Because. You know, some players have asked for for loan moves straight away. Others have, you know, you you, you seem to, to take it a lot more patiently. And do you, you always think that you will get that chance eventually? Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, I know I can I can play at this level, and you know, I like to think that I could play for for most teams in this league. So it it is like no matter what anybody says, you want to be on that pitch on a Saturday playing. It is it is hard, and it is at times impossible to bite your lip. You know, um, so um, it, like I can't I can't really say much else. It's hard and. Uh, and you just have to do what you can, really. Yeah, you've had a bit of a rivalry with Sido for the last couple of seasons. And do you, do you help each other in terms of advice? You know, off the pitch, do you get on very well, even though you're both competing for that one place. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's off, off the pitch. Is, you know, he's, he's a great lad. We, you know, I try, I try and help him, and um, you know, he says his bits as well. And uh, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, it's, it's just, a, it's just a rivalry because we play in the same position. There's nothing else to it. Yeah. And do, do you think that you've when, when you have been called upon for Cheltenham, you know, you got Player of the Year in your first full season here as a, as a permanent player, and then whenever you came in the second season not as much as you like but you feel like you've done done yourself justice yeah yeah it, it is it's it's hard to come in and do well from the off you know um i do i do like i do like to feel confident going into games i do like to have a run of games to feel that i'm playing my best so uh, but you know you've got to you've got to hit the floor running when you put into that first team and uh, that's, that's what i try to do yeah very early days and no need to panic at all yet no. but you, you is there a feeling that you just need to get that first win and do belts now no matter yeah. how you get it yeah i think so you know we've we've done well and beat and beat crawley in the cup um, you know, it, it, it will happen. You know, this, we've had a you know we've had a few new players and whatever, and I'm sure things will come good. Yeah, and Cheltenham have been in the seasons before where they've started slowly and ended up having a really good campaign. So it's yeah, yeah, like I say, you know, we will we will get things going, and you know, if that takes if that takes either a couple of changes from the management, a couple of the, the change of style of play or whatever, you know, we have we have faith in the in the. Um, coaching staff that they'll get it right and uh, and then we'll get it right on the pitch yeah have there been any because you kept so many clean sheets last season have there been any sort of inquests or trying to work out why you've let a few in even well, though it is early days yeah I suppose like you say we've, we have let in 10 goals and, and you know you have to have an inquest if you let in 10 goals uh, you know we, we've done our DVD work we're, we're, uh, I'm sure we'll put things right on the pitch yeah goal in the friendly today and, and a win and that's yeah. all you can do trying to pressure claims for to be in the manager's faults for uh, Accrington. Yeah, I suppose you know the lads, even even the young lads. Everybody's on that pitch trying to trying to impress the gaffer. So you know that's what we do. We've gone out. We've, we've we're unfortunate really to lose last week, uh, but we've got the win today. So uh, that, that helps with confidence as well. Yeah, and the pitch isn't isn't perfect by any means, but it's better than training, isn't it? Playing in the game. Yeah, you need that match fitness. You know, you can't be you can't beat a game, so you go into that and. Uh, like you say, the pitch isn't isn't the best. It's, it's rock hard, but uh, you know you get you get through it and you get your fitness at the end of the day. Yep, brilliant. Cheers, Luke. Okay. Thanks.